Hey guys, welcome back to Carding with Chris. I'm Chris Hoyles, and today we're going to be talking about what's the best seating position for your go kart. Let's get started. Alright, for today's video, we're going to be leaning forward. So, when I normally drive, I normally drive like this. And I'm 6'2, so I'm like a giant mass, you know, all the air is pushing against me. But if I lean forward, I become smaller and more compact, and it makes me more aerodynamic. And in theory, should make you faster. We're gonna find out though. All right, so we're gonna start both of them at the same time. Uh, the one on the left is me just sitting in a normal position. The one on the right is me leaning forward. I'm only leaning forward on the straights because that's the only time you really need the aerodynamics. Because the aerodynamics are are really all about the speed. So when we look later in the data, we're only going to be looking at the straights, not the corners. So these two lap times were both 41.7. But if we go into the data, we can see, you know, if there was any difference at all. So coming up to the finish line here, we can see that they basically cross at the same time. All right, we're looking at the data here. The red one is me sitting just normal, and the blue one is me leaning forward on the straights. So um, after turn three is going to be the longest straight, so you're going to hit your highest top speed. Um, so the highest top speed for me just sitting normal was 52.3 miles an hour, and the highest top speed for me leaning forward was 52.5 miles an hour. Now 0.2 miles an hour of a difference. Um, that's greater, so it's faster. Um, so I think the reason it was the same time was because I probably messed up in another corner, but I'm gonna say it is faster. With all that boring data out of the way, now we can move on to my new segment called Passes of the Day. All right, so coming up to the first pass, this guy in front of me, he's quite far ahead so I thought it was going to take me a while to catch up to him, but coming up to turn seven here, like I must have been breaking way later than him because I just came up to him and just rocketed past him. So, you know, that was a, that was a good pass. All right, so also part of this segment, I will show, you know, people passing me because I want to, you know, say I'm not perfect, you know, I'm like a mediocre driver. So. There's always gonna be someone faster there, and that guy just zoomed by me. So I always let people pass me. I never try and fight with them unless you know they want to fight with me. I always love battling, but you know, if they're trying to get out their fastest lap, go ahead, go in front of me. I don't care. So coming up to this kid, I tried making the move there, but he was like, you know, he scared the crap out of me. I thought he was gonna track out more, but he like tried to shut the door on me. So I kind of just coasted around him, or behind him, uh, until I hit the, the big straight, because you know sometimes with kids, they don't look behind them enough, and you know I don't want to wreck into him, ruin his day. So I'll try and make the passes as safe as possible. So this one, go by him on the straight, and he was a pretty good driver, so not too much hassle. Most of the kids are pretty good drivers, but you know, you always got that one guy who's you know, really just all over the place. It's usually because they're new. So that's all I have for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed what I am giving. Um, if you liked it, please subscribe. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please comment below. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.